this is Sam Smith. Um, so we had demonic Sam Smith, and now we have what appears to be um, mental illness Sam Smith. Um, why can't these people be normal? Um, I don't understand what is going on here, but I do want to point out something really interesting. And I want to point out, yeah, just go with me down the rabbit hole here. I'm going to take you on a Google journey while we do this. Okay. So Sam Smith Grammys. All right. So here are images of Sam Smith at the Grammys. Okay. Uh, devil right here. You see this? Like, okay, go with me down this. All right. Sam Smith has the number one song in the world right now. And it's, uh, <laughs> correctly, um, deemed unholy. All right. This is interesting stuff. And if you're not watching this on YouTube, you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel now because you don't see what I'm trying to show you here. Okay. Sam Smith has the number one song of the country and now he's performing devil stuff. Okay. Look at this. So look how satanic this all looks. The tongue sticking out, all this other kind of mess. Um, again, this was Sam Smith. All right. Now, yeah, he's always been gay, which I do not agree with. But look, this seems like a pretty sane looking normal human. One, two, three, four Grammys. Right. Okay. Sam Smith, you know, a little bit after one Grammy. Uh, most recent Sam Smith. Something horrific is going on. Look at this devil horn hat, etc. Okay. What's the point I'm trying to make? All right. What I'm trying to make is the last number one across the whole country was a song by a person called Lil Nas X, who, uh, once he got the number one song in the world, he did some interesting things where, as you can see here, this is him making out with the devil in a music video. This is him, uh, and if kids are listening, I'm sorry, uh, this is him uh, twerking and humping the devil in a music video. Uh, this is a pair of shoes with his devil contact eyes. These are a pair of shoes he put out <clears throat> that have actual blood in them. Demonic, demonic stuff and i just find it interesting that once these people get the number one song in the world very shortly after you get stuff like this straight on just satanic things look at this does this look like a well individual to you i mean th this is some weird satanic stuff and it's just interesting to me like i said obviously this is a mental illness Obviously, um, there's issues going on in the spiritual world with these people. But the biggest thing about all this is uh, I just find it completely interesting that nobody's putting this together. Why am I the only one, the redneck from Mississippi, that's seeing this stuff? That's like, oh, it's kind of weird that every time these music artists get the number one uh, song in the country, then all of a sudden they become like devil worshipers. It's just weird to me. And it, it nobody else is like putting those things together, which is interesting.